Crazy action, crazy comedy. <laughs> So Thai Cops is a um, homage to the 1980s Hong Kong action genre, the, specifically the police, the police films of the 80s of, of Hong Kong. Um, so uh, I always wanted to do like, you know, like the Jackie Chan kind of Hong Kong 80s action, like police story. So several years ago I did my fake trailers with my um, five minute cinema series where I created Tiger Cop 1 and 2. I want to utilize the same action, the same camera techniques, the lights, the sounds, and even the, down to the film stock and the film grain. So Tiger Cop's series um, was an evolution, the next step to the fake trailer that I did. I've been working with Adrian for possibly the past five years. I mean, we've started off working on indie film, short films, out in Western Sydney. I, I could even remember when we first worked on Into the Dojo, first time working with The Red and just collaborating with him. And you know, the good thing is that he has a very cinematic vision. So everything that we made always had the look and feel of cinema. And that's what I find quite unique and it's not done a lot in Australia. And over the years collaborating and throwing our stuff online on YouTube, finally we get a break to actually work on ABC and deliver a three-part series to them. And Tiger Cops is pretty much a kind of I get, accumulation of work. What I enjoyed most about working with um, Adrian and I guess it's that independent feeling of not having that, that whole hierarchy system. Pretty much like for me to be able to produce but also to have a you know, in front of camera roll, but at the same time bringing on board people that we get a chance to collaborate. It's not like a, a system. It's, it's sort of pretty much what you see on camera, behind that is really run by a very small amount of people. I mean, you, when you get on set, you see um, Adrian, you know, DOPing, he's moving cameras around, he's figuring out choreography, he's figuring out safety, he, he's figuring out everything, you know, and it's rare to see that in Australia. <laughs> Tiger Cops is uh, two mismatched cops, one from Hong Kong, an inspector Tiger and an inspector from Australia, Ty uh, Womack played by Stephen Oliver, um, teamed up to take down this mysterious uh, international arms smuggler called the White Ghost. So basically it's two bumbling cops blowing shit up and trying to win the day. And with their teamwork they actually end up winning the day. With Tiger Cop the series, I was able to bring the cast from the from the fake trailers back into the series, with a more established and evolved character development, and each character has their own backstory, and also being able to work with Stephen Oliver, who's you know um, the partner of, of Maria Tran's Tiger. So Stephen plays Wombat. It was great to work with Stephen Oliver. It's my first time. I mean, I've known him um, through a lot of the works that he's done on ABC, and he's funny as. But when he came down to Sydney and he was doing fight choreography and action, we're like, whoa, we were, I was amazed because usually fight action choreography will take some time for people to kind of learn and become accustomed. Uh, I've worked with martial artists before where they might be good at martial arts, but when it comes to on-screen action, they might really fail at that. But with um, Steven, he had the movement, I think because also he came from a dancing background, so when he actually learnt the, the choreography and the moves, he was able to mimic and emphasise things. And we're just thinking, I think before that, we're like, do we need a stunt double? What if he can't learn any of these moves? We need a stunt double. And during the duration of the, the sequence, Pretty much we don't. There's only one really big move that we needed to double just for safety, but everything else he did it himself. And it just shows choreography is something that could be learnt by anyone if they, they have the, the passion, the drive to do it. Fanboying, I always wanted to work with uh, Richard Norton, who of course worked in the 80s Hong Kong action genre, and for him to have, have a, a, a cameo as the white ghost in the series. And then to have him say his you know, catchphrase line best. Painful. So the usual team is back. Maria Tran is star slash producer. I'm directing and editing and I've got um, Taylor Davis doing the makeup artist. 
bringing in um, Loretta Perduto as my creative consultant slash um, all-rounder slash costume slash cameo. I was fortunate to bring in um, the team at Curious Works, the, the young guys there to, to be part of the crew, you know, first AD, behind the scenes, boom, and also assisting with um, camera, camera operating and cinematography. I think one of the joys about doing fight choreography as well as doing action on screen is that, you know, working with Adrian, he knows how to break things into sort of small bite-sized pieces. So we had entry-level um, people who were doing performance and acting in front of camera, which he was able to mould. Rolling and action. So I had the privilege of working with the DMC crew Dauntless, you know, run by um, Joseph Carboni. And these guys are like awesome, like they served as our stunties. Working with these guys who are just, you know, they're hungry to be in, you know, in film and, and work in, 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 like, in action. So it was great to do, to work with the choreography with them and the actors who, you know, who haven't had uh, martial arts training before, but to get them all working together and, and they all had a great time. What I think in Australia, what we need more is opportunities to keep on going. And I think now with um, title cops like myself and Adrian, other people, we're starting to tune in and hone our craft in terms of characterization, story development, and script writing. We're starting to hone it even more, and especially making something that, that there's a demand on screen. You know, not just putting up there on YouTube, we actually have like an outcome which is great. So that's what we're starting to focus more on and hopefully after Tire Cops there's going to be more opportunities that come towards us, not only in the action genre but in different genres as well because you know we, we do have a passion for film. Adrian loves films, he's watching it constantly. I, I think I don't watch enough of it but he's always reminding me that you know this is like an amazing you know form craft that should, that should be respected and that's what I've learned from him as well. Tiger Cops, it's 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 a un, it's it's a unique thing for for myself and my team. You know, we always doing you know martial arts action, and you know that's our forte. And to finally get a chance to bring action to Australian viewing to Australian screens, you know, albeit you know ABC iView online, um, it's one, it's a privilege, and one, it's it's an honor. And it's like there hasn't been you know a martial arts action series of this level you know, on Australian screens and action is universal. It's every country has, has an action genre industry and, and we, need, we need genres. We need genre in, in Australia and, and to be allowed to do the action series, it's, it's awesome and, and, and I'm hoping that you know, it'll open doors so we can do bigger and better, better things and open, open doors to other filmmakers who want to do the, you know, the action genre to you know, showcase what they can do as well. My hope is that, you know, we get to do like the series of Tide Cops and to, you know, step it up the, the next, you know, the next level, you know, bring, bring back uh, Rich Norton as the main villain for the whole series. And then having Mike Leader on board, um, casting director in, in, you know, so many China and Hong Kong films, um, hopefully, you know, he can reach out to you know the legends of Hong Kong like Samuel Hung and you know or Jackie Chan, all those guys who worked in those films in that time period and, and collaborate you know together and um, bring back old school action you know meld with the with the new of today.